I'm Steven, the calculator guy, and today I'm going to tell you or teach you how to set up pre-search nodes using free VPSs from AWS. Uh, so once you've registered for pre-search nodes and you have a pre-search account, um, you can get into this little nodes area, right? So you should be able to get here just by going to nodes.presearch.org and then launch a node. Even if you haven't gotten your email yet from pre-search, uh, it is more than likely the case that your account might be set up. So register your node and get a registration code and then, blah, 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 blah. is this it? Dashboard, yeah, okay, perfect. So you wanna go there, right? And you wanna make sure that you transfer your pre to your address. And once you transfer your pre to your address, Great, you're, you're ready to get going. So you need a pre-account, uh, and then you need an Amazon Web Services account. So I'm logged in. Make sure you create your own account, it's pretty simple. Then you wanna to go to launch a virtual machine. Um, I should also say that you need PuTTY. Uh, so PuTTY, you can reach, I will link this somewhere in the description, just putty.org, and then download PuTTY here. Um, it's as simple as that. So you need PuTTY, you need an AWS account and need your pre-search account, and then you need some amount of pre. Uh, you should use exactly 1,000 pre per node because that way you maximize your pre. Um, it is, it is, it seems to be the case that uh, it doesn't matter how much pre you stake on each node. Okay, so I'm in my AWS. I go to launch a virtual machine. It's really, really not that bad. Um, you scroll down to Ubuntu Server 20.04, select. Yep, the free one, review and launch, launch. Then here you wanna to go to create a new key pair. This is very important. Uh, I think I'm on number 12, so AWS, pre-search. The name doesn't matter, this is just what I do so I can keep them very organized. And then you wanna know exactly where you download this. I would put all of your key pairs in a folder. Uh, you can see here are all of mine. I keep all my keys in a folder and this is where I'm gonna put mine. So I download that key pair. Uh, right here it is, and I'm going to drag that into my folder. Perfect. Then launch instances. Okay, so now it's going to launch all the instances. Uh, you're going to see this screen, and you're going to want to go to view instances over here. So you'll see I have a bunch of running instances. Fantastic. Uh, then you can see I have this new instance pending. Okay, so with this new pending instance, I have to wait until it goes through its, both of its checks in order to use it. Um, so what I'm going to do, I'll click on that for now and then I'll just wait. This is the 172. Keep that in mind. All right. So meanwhile, I'm going to open up my putty, which is right here. And you need to go to putty gen, then load. And from load, you want to click all files and find that, that key that you downloaded. So click on that, click open, click OK, click save private key, and name it the same thing. Uh, and then just take away that, that PEM. So AWS Presearch 12, save, and you're done. You've done uh, probably the most important thing. So let me go check on my instances again. Still initializing. Okay, so while it does that, I can open up the next most important thing. So I'll go back to PuTTY. Uh, you want to go to PuTTY EXE. All right, now for the host name or IP address, you're going to want to, oh, cool, I can connect now. So it's, it's ready to go. Uh, fantastic, I'll click connect, SSH client. You want to copy this. So if you just click this square, it will automatically copy it. Uh, so there we go, copied. Go back to PuTTY. Just paste that right there. Then go to SSH, right? So so click this little plus, click off, browse, find that key, that number 12, uh, open, open, there we go. Click accept, type in Ubuntu, U-B-U-N-T-U. Da, da, da. Okay, wonderful. So now I'm now I'm sort of in, now I need to set it up. So what you need to do now is go to this website here, docs.presearch.org, forward slash nodes, forward slash VPS setup, forward slash AWS. I will link this in the, in the description. And start with the second one. Um, so to copy, just click these two squares, copy, 
You want to start with this one here, this curl. Uh, right click to paste, just right click. Don't control V, just click your right click and it will automatically paste. Hit enter, okay, done. Next one, copied, right click, paste. Okay, so this is gonna take a while to load because um, it's downloading or it's installing uh, Docker onto the VPS. So while it does that, let me sort of get you ahead for the next part. When you get to step eight, part two, this, you're going to need to type your own registration code here. Now you find your registration code in your pre-search. So this is your registration code. You'll click the I to reveal it. Uh, you'll copy that and you'll paste it in place of this. Um, so what I recommend is creating a notepad file, name it whatever you want, key, pre, paste thingy, whatever you want to name it, uh, paste it, and then and you can see my registration code here. Um, I don't think you're going to steal it or use it, but unless you want to make nodes for me, that's fine. So just paste your code there, and that's it. So then you have that ready. All right, let's go check back here. Looks like we're ready. So I'll go to the next step, copy. Right click to paste, hit enter. That'll be done pretty quick. Done. All right. Next step copy, paste, enter. Done. Okay, so now I don't copy this. I want to copy this with my registration code in it. Copy, right click, enter. So now my node is actually set up already. I'm done. But just to check on it, you can copy this last one. Right click. Ta-da! Pre-search. All right, so now let's see if it actually worked. We'll go to our nodes. We will refresh. And look, here it is. No description. So we'll click that little button. We'll stick 1000. Uh, description, let's call this one AWS 7. Is that where we're at? AWS 7? Yeah. And update. Back to node list. And we're done. So once the reliability score increases, uh, you'll start to get more searches. I think that's the correlation or relationship there. And the more searches you get, the more rewards you get. Um, and then whenever you want, you can claim your rewards. Uh, once you get a thousand rewards totally, you can compound into a new node. Um, and I should be making a calculator to, to sort of look at all and play with all those metrics uh, soon enough. So that's it. It's pretty simple. You just need three things. You need an AWS account, you need a pre-search account, uh, and you need putty. Um, if you have any questions, just drop a comment below or message me on Twitter at Stephen Strong uh, or Telegram if you know my Telegram or Discord. Uh, thank you so much for watching and I hope it works out for you.